Hello, this is Barry from Wave. How's it going? Here's the weekly update on crypto. So we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, um, ETH, and then we'll, we'll see. Perhaps we'll, we'll do the, the, the usual Solana and then um, and then we also might take a look at some, um, let's say, interesting coins such as Doge and um, maybe Shiba, but, but we'll see. But let, let's just mainly focus on Bitcoin and ETH. So as always, before we get started, I always want to give a shout out to the Discord. It's completely free if you want to join. The link is in the description of this video. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Completely free. As you can see, you'll find many other people that are interested in trading and uh, more specifically in the L wave theory. So um, hope to see you there. So let's get started with, uh, with Bitcoin. And um, I, I really haven't updated the counts much. I've been tracking it down as I do have a small position. Uh, that I originally opened at 65,000. At 65 is between uh, 50 and 80. And both 5 and 8 are Fibonacci number. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, blah, 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 21, so on. So it's it's between those two Fib numbers. So it, it should be, it usually is a strong number to work with. And uh, as you can see here, if we draw a line at 65, see how we did get it looks like we consolidated we're going to investigate this in just a second um, but um, for the time being my preferred count is pretty much uh, hasn't changed since last update um, I'm seeing this as a complete way for now I think in one of my I think it was last week video where someone said this is a flat I mean didn't really say this is a flat. They uh, kind of hated on it, saying, oh, we're going to zero, blah, blah, blah. It's not a big deal. I've heard that many times. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, it looks pretty impulsive to me. And the fundamentals really are in, in favor of a, of a major crash. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was possible when we were about here. It was still... And uh, when it was a, th a clear three wave move, now it's starting to get like an extension. And as you can see, my preferred count as a wave three in the making. And it looks like we could be in the final stages. I have it as a one, two, three, four, five. And then ideally, I'm waiting here. As you can see here, we have 1.618, uh, three against one at basically 80,000. Again, eight is a fib number. So it should act like a strong number and uh, that's where I'm expecting a potential wave 5 and that would be short 5 which makes sense considering that wave 3 I think th minor 3 was shorter than 1 let me check but it looks like it uh, yeah just a bit uh, by a few thousand dollars shorter so 3 was shorter than 1 therefore 5 must be shorter than 3 and either a very short wave 3 at 80 or else we could also get um, up to 100 and then pull back. So 80 would be, let's say, let's call it target one. And then uh, 100 uh, would be the next logical uh, place where we could expect resistance. So nonetheless, that's basically what I'm expecting. Uh, topping wave three. And then at that point, a larger pullback to comp basically we need to um, correct the same degree of this wave two. So it could take it should take a bit more time, a few months. Um, so maybe it will last over. I don't know. It could start at till I don't know mid summer, July, August. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, also, there there's a counter where this wave one goes here, and we have one, two, three, four, five, one, B. Oh, uh, sorry, two, and then three, four, five. So we'll see. If if that's the case, if actually wave one is here, which it should be somewhere here. Nope. Yeah, this one. Then, oops. I'll just wait a second. Then uh, I would expect, as this wave two was sideways, I would expect this wave four to be sharp. So it would take less time than what this one took and this one took if that's the case this one took um, 150 days so a bit less 
about I would expect maybe about three months or so if we take. We'll see, nonetheless. But um, so if we f if we so let's get back to where we were. Nope. Oh god, just so many. Okay, so if we focus on what is going on here now that we've considered the different counts. Now I've seen counts where uh, you have oh, oops, where you have one, two, three, four, and five. Because of this, I don't. I mean, I don't see this playing out. It doesn't look like a one, two, three, four, five. Um, that's why I prefer this count. But I've seen that and uh, don't really. It doesn't look right. And um, for Bingham volume here on the daily, we can see already something very interesting. In here, we've had the largest volume. So people uh, that usually at, at this point in time it tells us that people are starting to sell and it make it would reflect um, that we are in wave five the trend is getting weaker there's less buyer it goes up but it's there's not as many buyers in um, in this up move if we do continue higher and that is basically volume is telling that that uh, people are starting to sell whereas as you can see here as we moved higher volume it was pretty much stable um, and that's usually what happens when after a bull in this case a bull market when you start to see volume ramping up it usually means that something's happening and you see the, the same here the opposite though going down from here it's pretty much steady volume. Start to have peaks here, and then here it's pretty clear in this area. You've had increased volume. That that's w when the turn happened. Um, pretty much same here. You see how volume started to increase. It peaked, continue higher, and then it, it it just collapsed. So that could be the sign that we are in wave four. There is less buyers involved. People are starting to sell take profits which is understandable now let's focus on the intraday so for the intra where's wave three yeah I don't, I don't really like when trade does that oh god so annoying so i see this wave four as a triangle as wave two was pretty much sharp it, it took it took me by surprise this wave this oh god View this wave uh, two uh, because I was expecting this to be some sort of A or W and then I was expecting this but it didn't took us I mean took me by surprise um, so sharp wave two spanning sideways wave four now to be uh, let's get rid of volume to be transparent either we are as you see it here in a triangle in wave four there you go which is my preferred count or else A or W some sort of X or Y and then downside but and that would mean wave 4 goes here is that possible? yes um, what I like about this as I said in the beginning of this video is the fact that you do have support at 65 65 is holding strongly as long as we stay above 65. I prefer this count. Now, there's two ways to look at this uh, more specifically. So we, we covered the fact that either we have a way four or else we don't. Which one is going to be? I don't know. But for the time being, I'm confident about this. And though I may be wrong, I'm human too. Um, so in here, I got the wrong color. Uh, so this one. So in here, I can see this as wave one and two completed. To be honest, uh, we're on hourly. If you haven't noticed, um, so I can see this as one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. If that's the case, it's. I mean, look at it. It kind of looks like a textbook move. To be honest, one, two. Here you see a sharp wave two, and sideways wave four, up in five. Three is the longest. 
a b c so this if just i'll just focus on this i, I want to I I mean, let's think about this this is what you usually see in every l wave uh, textbook isn't it you see the head and shoulders you see a sharp two sideways four so this would be uh, a uh, textbook move so that's why I I mean here I see a clear three with move three down up down I see three down which is and it's it's what we want to see if we want to see for their upside three downs fives up um, I see five here I you could count, you could squeeze it as a three with move uh, but I see five so if we start and we should start soon to break past this point at 71,000 then we can start to um, anticipate for their upside but so today's Friday um, and uh, market is closed and then you have the weekend it's Easter weekend um, so I would expect not that much volume so I'm, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen how it's gonna play out but um, I think that over over Christmas though let me, let me just we, we did move so where's Christmas? No, we didn't move over Christmas break. It's July. Okay, yeah, we 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 kept moving sideways for Christmas. Well, I guess we'll find out, but that's what I would expect. Um, and to to consider more longs, I would like to see seventy two thousand to start acting as uh, support. And at that point, I would like to see further upside only on 72,000 as support uh, so again briefly as long as we hold 65 as support we trade above 65 I remain bullish otherwise as I showed you something like this would be the alternate so that was Bitcoin uh, let me know if you have questions or uh, if you have, don't agree with something ETH is a bit interesting so I've been extremely bullish on ETH We've been following I've had a one two one two which has played out nicely if you look at like several months old video you'll see that I have had a one two one two ever since we were right about here um, so it's playing out now the problem is can this be part of a larger correction yes it can looking at Bitcoin um, it's not that um, likely, but it's still possible. Uh, now, I wonder what this war is going to do. Because just like Bitcoin, we've had a sideways wave 2. Oh, sorry, a sharp wave 2. So I would expect sideways wave 4. And uh, it's not an easy count, to be honest. It's not as clear as Bitcoin. Uh, I've had here at label it as a very uh, ugly flat. Down in A, 3 was up into wave B. Five done in C, and that would mean that we've we're now having again a one two. One two. One, two. So thi if this is correct, we need to start uh, accelerating higher. And over again over Easter uh, weekend, uh, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, if not, then I could. I mean, we could just start to get into sideways wave four, which is. I mean, I would expect it uh, as long as you trade above three thousand three fib number. So three thousand, I'm 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 fine. I'll keep this count. Um, and uh, I mean, you could ask, could you squeeze way four in here instead of a five here, three here, and for here I guess you could it could be an interesting alternate however if that was way four then we could take longer than where we are I mean where we are right now um, as we this way to wash uh, sideways I would expect this to be sharp so what is going on it, it makes sense uh, but for the time being I prefer to stick to this scenario um, and even if I'm wrong as in we don't have a, a bottom yet but we're moving sideways I still prefer to having this way for instead of 
this one in place. Um, what else? Let's take a look at volume two here on ETH. Yeah, it hasn't been as much traded as Bitcoin lately, but uh, yeah, you could say it is a bit increasing compared to previous months. Uh, pretty much as much as May here where we topped. So you see here how it's this. Let me zoom in. Oops. In here, you pretty much had the same volume. And now you're starting to get a bit more and it looks like it is as much as what you've had here. And here it's when you topped. So again, same same um, as for Bitcoin, we could be getting soon uh, some some sort of a top. In this case, it was back this way three, and then a sideways continuation. So volume is suggesting that as well. Can I be wrong? Of course I can. Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to find out. So I think this is gonna be it for me today. Uh, I think I talked right too much. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or anything you you would have done differently and uh, again don't forget to join the discord it's completely free and i hope to see you there thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one